Welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Stephen. Today's episode is about the Harrison ligature. We may know the vintage ones. Also, Rico came out with a newer version. And we're going to talk about why they're so good, what to look for, because they can get blown out. And we'll look at the reasons why. Anyways, don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe, like, and share afterwards. And at the end of this video, if you look at the links, I have a link to an old video I did about ligatures and the way that they put pressure into the reed. Anyways, we're going to get right to it right now. We're going to Harrison ligatures were made by Mr. Harrison in the 1970s and 80s in Wymore, Nebraska. They're apparently all handmade and considered to be some of the best ligatures of the time. But once he passed away, the family closed the business and Rico acquired the rights to what they call the Rico H right now, which is what this one is. But we're going to take a look at them and compare the two. So we have a few Harrison ligatures here. On the left here is a clarinet one, an alto sax gold plated one, and a tenor sax gold plated one. We have a couple others here for comparison, a Bonade inverted and a Vendoran Optima with the three plates. And we have a Rico H one right here, tenor. First thing, let's take a look at how it holds the reed. If we see how it cradles the reed right up here, We can see the four points here, which are the main points of contact. This is gapped here on both sides. So the main pads right here, long version, long stripes, of the H part, part right here. And look at how this holds the reed pressure point, pushing it down this way, pressure point, pushing on that way, both in the front and the back. If you look on the sides here, you see this is slightly curved on the side especially this one on this side these get blown out when these are no longer curved and they get stretched so that's what happens when they get blown out so you want to see some curvature to the thin strips of metal coming up to the H area to know that they're not uh, blown out per se so it's holding these errors right here are the ones holding the reed to the table. And they're really good because if you tighten them down a bit and your table isn't flat, you'll flatten the reed down because it has some good strong strength to it. The alto one, which is also gold plated. Same way, we take a look at the H though. We take a close look and see the alto one. The H is much smaller than this one. And on the silver plated clarinet one, it's even smaller because it holds a smaller reed, of course. Now this one actually say on it, you see here, it says Harrison. Actually, now I think about this, this is bass clarinet or tenor. So they did make them for bass clarinet also. Fits tenor mouthpieces really well too. Let's take a look at this versus the new Rico H one or original Harris to the left. Original Harrison to the left, the Rico one to the right. We can see the finish on the Rico one is much better. The H segment of it is not as thick, not quite as big. Taking a look from the top. Does about the same thing. This one is more straight and the flat piece is going to the H. But as long as it does not touch the reed. The main issue is on reeds. You do not want ligatures pushing the edge of the reed here this way. You don't want it to pinch the edge of the reed. If it pinches the edge of the reed, it makes them more buzzy. You want any ligature to press down towards the middle, like this or like this, but not to clip the reed. That's one reason on regular old ligatures that are strictly round, they actually pinch the reed on the side 
and that's when you actually hear a difference of the way it's holding the reed to the table. This Van Dorn, this Van Dorn one we can see once again. There's room on the side so it doesn't pinch the edge of the reed and provides pressure, pressure plate pushing straight down the reed to the table. So it does its job. This Bonade inverted one has the two plates on the inside. It does the same thing like the Van Doren one. It pushes the reed straight towards the table and it doesn't touch the edge of the reed. Once again, as I mentioned, if you go to the end of this video, I have links to the video I have talking about ligatures and how they hold the reed. This one here, of course, has a Rico on it. Rico on the bottom here. What we have here is a price list from 1982 for Harrison Soprano, both gold and silver prices. Alto sax, gold and silver, tenor, gold and silver, and baritone, gold and silver. Prices from 16 up to $21. Anyways, that is our quick discussion about Harrison ligatures from the 70s and 80s. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. We well, want to thank you for listening today. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. You gotta love knowledge, gotta love life. You gotta love ligatures, right? And hold your read on. We'll see you next time.